I have a fun Raspberry Pi tutorial for you today. I'm installing TensorFlow Lite on my Raspberry Pi and then using that to do some image classification. This should work with Raspberry Pi 2 or newer. Let's jump right in. We're following along with TensorFlow's example library here, TensorFlow Lite Python image classification example with Raspberry Pi. I'll link to this GitHub page in the description and I'll also include all the commands in the description. Okay, scrolling down, what can we do? Real-time image classification. If you have a Coral USB accelerator, you can use that. I do not, you don't need one, not required, but it does increase the speed of this project. Okay, before we start, you need to set up your Raspberry Pi. If you haven't done that, I made a video for just specifically you that you can go watch, watch that, set up your Pi, come back, and then we're gonna get going. First thing, I'm gonna SSH into my Raspberry Pi. If you want to do real-time video classification and see the image with it, you'll need to plug your Pi into a monitor. But to do the installation, just because I got my recording software going here, I'm gonna do it through SSH, and then at the end, show you that it's working with the Raspberry Pi connected to a monitor. I got my terminal open here, so I'm gonna SSH into my Pi. SSH Pi, oops. SSH Pi at Raspberry Pi, then my password. Oh yes, first time SSHing in, my password. If you're following along with your Raspberry Pi connected to a monitor, just open up a terminal. What's first? We gotta upgrade our Raspberry Pi. sudo apt-get update. And now sudo apt-get upgrade, sudo apt-get upgrade, and then dash y so I don't have to type anything. And that took about five minutes. So now we're gonna set up a virtual environment. Check your Python, python-v, I'm running Python 3.9.2. If you're running Python 2, then maybe try running the command python3-v, and hopefully that works out for you. So now let's set up a virtual environment. Let's create a virtual environment. You might not have a virtual env package installed, so run the command sudo, dash capital H python3 dash m pip install virtual env all the commands are going to be down in the description I already have it installed so it went quick for me it'll be a little longer if you have to install it and now let's make a project directory mkdir make directory project. Now if we list our directories and files, we see the project directory right here. And let's change into that directory. CD change directory project. So now we're in the project directory and it's time for us to create a virtual environment. This will keep all our Python packages contained so they don't pollute any other Python environments that we have going on. All right, here we go. Whoops. Python 3-m virtual env env awesome so now ls we see that env is right there and let's activate our environment with the command source env bin activate and then all of a sudden we get our env we're in our environment so now we can install python packages and they'll only be in our python environment here so in order to get back to these packages say you close out your terminal and come back you have to reactivate the environment in your project directory using the command source env bin activate. If you're using a Pi camera, I'm not, I'm using a USB webcam for this, but if you're using a Pi camera, let's run the command pip install in quotes. I don't know if that's necessary, but I do it. Pi camera array end quote. Scrolling down, now let's install the TensorFlow Lite runtime. This is so easy. You ready? This command right here. Python 3-m pip install tflight-runtime. And we have TensorFlow Lite installed. If you hop into a Python interpreter, Python, now we're in a Python interpreter, and then do import tf light underscore runtime it's imported and let's check our version 
TF light underscore runtime dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore boom TF light version 2.7.0 quit to get out of that and now let's actually run some object detection this section is all complete let's get the example files copy that I'll link this in the description paste over here All right, copy this first line to get into our new project directory. And then let's run the setup shell script that TensorFlow made for us. Okay, so now we're here and we think this is our final thing, run the example. This should work, right? But we're gonna get an error. All right, what does it say? Lib C blast, so can't, whatever, it doesn't work. So what you need to do is run the command sudo apt git lib atlas dash base dash dev. Enter. Oh my gosh. sudo apt git install lib atlas base dash dev. Yes. So what we just installed, lib atlas, atlas stands for automated tuning linear algebra system, something like that. But linear algebra, very important for machine learning stuff. I'm going to go into my Raspberry Pi now and show you that it works with the real time classification. Okay, I got my Raspberry Pi, op Pi open. I'm just recording with my phone. So sorry about the quality. And now we got to activate our Python environment first cd into project and now source env bin activate see the env so we're in our project directory with the environment created and now we're going to get to those files wherever example.py or what's it called classify.py is located cd examples light examples image classification and then raspberry pi now list what's in there. Okay, and there we go. There's our classify.py file. So let's just run that. Python 3 classify.py. Hello, that's me. Okay. Let's see. Hammer. Okay. What else do I got? Oh, is it going to get this one? Rule, I saw it pop up. Yeah, rule, there we go. Okay, and does it know what a mug is? That is the question. Water jug, close. Coffee mug, there we go. And now let's get meta. That is not saying Raspberry Pi. I'm a little disappointed. But you can see that it works. And there we go. We got image classification. There are ways that you can modify this script. For example, there are different models that you could use. Or you could take the code that's in classify.py and then use it for whatever application. Maybe when it detects a hammer, it wants to say nail or I don't know, whatever fun thing you're trying to do. Anyway, if you made this script or need help with it or have a request for any future video, the comment section is where you can reach me. Subscribe for more Raspberry Pi tutorials and happy coding.